Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel Discoveries of Self. My name is Natalie. Uh, if you're not oldie but a goodie, welcome back. And if you're just passing through, just want to check out what's happening. Hello and welcome to my channel Discoveries of Self or DOS blog. Um, today we're going to be doing an eyeshadow decluttering video. I've been wanting to do this for a very long time and I thought what's a better time than now to do it? Um, I've only watched one. Hopefully this is not going to be too long because I've actually whittled down my eyeshadow palette collection quite a bit, um, but I feel like it's time for me to do that again. Okay, so first things first, I do actually have some custom palettes in here um, and I love my custom palettes because it was back in the day when I used to um, buy pans and put things in palettes and stuff. So the first one I'm going to show you, I think is a mixture of, yeah, these are Colourpop eyeshadows, Strobe Cosmetics eyeshadows, Luxie Beauty eyeshadows. On this side is the Luxie Beauty shades and then on this side is the Colourpop shades and in the middle the shimmers are the Strobe Cosmetics shades. I'm not going to chuck this away. <laughs> I'm going to keep this mostly because the Luxie Beauty eyeshadows are amazing. They did like a full collection and I picked up quite a few of those thanks to Spencer's Beauty on Instagram and I absolutely love these shades. I have to admit I'm a stickler for matte shades so I'm not too crazy about shimmers at the moment. The strobe shimmers though are beautiful but I'm not that much of a shimmer girl but they are beautiful shades. These are from Strobe Cosmetics. Really really beautiful shades especially that greeny um, gold shade. You know what, I'm going to keep this palette because I've curated it to work for me. Do not sleep on independent makeup brands. Indie makeup brands make the most beautiful eyeshadows because a lot of the times they're handmade so they're creamier, uh, the colour payoff is insane. So I'd definitely recommend checking out Strobe Cosmetics and Luxie Beauty as well. So I'm going to be keeping this one because yeah, it has everything I need. And when I do want those full matte colors, I go straight to Luxie Beauty anyway, so yeah. Next, this is a relatively new one. Uh, this is the Patricia Bright eyeshadow palette. Um, and this one is in, um, what is this one called? Um, Rich in Life. So this is the neutral sort of palette that she released. There was two, I can't remember what the other one is, but this is one of them. This is a beautiful palette, but if I'm being 100% honest, I have not reached for this palette at all. And I don't know why. I did definitely want to support Patricia, uh, so that's why I purchased this. But I, it's just been sitting in my collection since I bought it. But the colors are gorgeous. The yellow, I swatched the yellow. The yellow didn't really do nothing for me, but I'd expect that from yellow. I think I might give this one away. I do like it and I think it's a really good palette, especially if you're getting into makeup and you're trying to build a makeup collection. Um, but I haven't reached for this and I don't think I will reach for this. And there's nothing wrong with it. I just don't think that I need it in my collection. I think I just bought it just to support Patricia. So I think I will be giving this one away. Next is another custom palette. So basically eyeshadows that I bought pan form and have put in a Z palette. And in these are, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what a throwback. I had, listen, I even forgot that I had these. These are the Coastal Scents eyeshadow pans. Oh my, how beautiful are these? Coastal Scents did bits back in the day. Yeah, so all of these shades are Coastal Scents shades. I'm a neutrals girl, as you can most definitely see. I love my neutral colors, my warm reds, my browns, my neutral browns. I can't chuck this away, are you mad? And actually, saying that, I've just remembered. So this is a coast, all of these are Coastal Scents besides the bottom row. These are all Makeup Geek shadows at the bottom. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna do terribly because I don't wanna chuck this away. Mostly because the amount of money, like this this was not cheap at all. And to in just to make it clear that Coastal Scents was used to charge customs. So Coastal Scents used to hit me with the customs charges. Even if the shades were affordable, the custom charges would really tip you over. So yeah, I'm not gonna chuck this away. I'm not gonna give this away. Look at this palette, are you mad? I should create my own palette. Maybe for Inkeo one day I will, but what a beautiful palette. Oh my gosh, I need to reach for these more. It ain't going nowhere, I'm keeping this baby. Oh my gosh, OG. Okay, don't watch the front because the front is mucky. Um, but if you know, you know about this one. The Morphe 35O palette. Um, everyone went hype around this palette, including myself. It was a beautiful palette. Warm reds, warm browns, blah, 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 no. I don't use this palette. I don't use this palette at all. I think I tried to use it in one of my videos 
And um, I realized that another palette from Makeup Revolution worked better. So I've, I've not used this palette. I mean, it's beautiful, but when I look at all my other eyeshadow pans, I feel like the color payoff is better than the Morphe um, eyeshadow palettes. So the 35.0 I think has to go. Before I started buying eyeshadow pans, my favorite thing to do was to create custom palettes, like buy Z palettes and fill them with pans. Things have changed now and I feel like more eyeshadow brands are coming out with palettes rather than pans, but my pans are my pride and joy. So in here, I think this was actually my very first ever custom Z palette. And this is a Makeup Geek palette. Oh my gosh, old school Makeup Geek. If you know, you know. I even bought the palette for Makeup Geek and I just bought a bunch of shades. Makeup Geek and Marlena, she's recently revamped everything, changed the shape of the pans, the formulation and everything, but I didn't have a problem with the old pans or anything like that. And these are really tightly packed. You get a lot for your money. They're very, very thick and um, cocoa berries in here as well. But actually I've hit pan on, I think this is latte. Latte is the one I've hit pan on, but I used to remember cocoa pear, latte, um, cr beaches and cream. Oh my gosh, real OGs. If you know, you know these shades. Bitten, um, I had all of them in here. Chickadee, the black, which was corrupt. Look at how vivid corrupt is, man. Corrupt was black. Like it was one of those eyeshadows that was pure, black look at that it's a little bit chalky now but corrupt was really doing bits i'm not going to check this palette away it's got such beautiful shades which was this one butter bing oh i used butter bing in like my very first one of my very first makeup tutorials on my channel no the nostalgia is serious with this one no i love this i don't even need to buy the new shades why would i buy the new shades we've got the old shades the Makeup Geek, my first ever Z palette. It's very unlikely that I'll chuck my custom palettes away because I love them. Next palette is the Jaclyn Hill palette. I don't know why, this has got glue on it. So I, I do take good care of my palettes, I promise you. But for these, for some reason, these ones aren't really looking too great right now. So this is the first Jaclyn Hill palette with her collaboration with Morphe. Um, this palette is beautiful. I love this palette. It took me a while uh, to actually buy this palette. I don't know why, I was just sleeping on it for a very long time. Then I got it and then I completely fell in love with it. I really like this palette, which is so weird because Morphe, I don't like the Morphe 350 palette, but I did watch a video on YouTube some time ago. I can't remember who the uh, YouTuber's name is, but she does a lot of makeup news. And she looked in and like the formulation's different from the normal Morphe eyeshadows, which is probably why I like this a lot more. But this is a gorgeous palette. Again, I mean, look at those colors. Now, this one's staying. This one's definitely staying. I love this palette so much. Every time I use it, I'm like, yes, it's a good palette. And it has all the colors and all the shades that I like anyway. So the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, I will be sticking with this one. I did think about if I wanted to get the second one, but I did a poll on Instagram and everyone's like, no, we ain't getting it. And peer pressure is, is real. <laughs> So I was like, all right, if everyone's not getting it, I'm not getting it. So yeah, this is all I need really. And I really like this palette. I do. I'm not even going to lie. I do like this palette. Another Morphe palette. I've got so many Morphe palettes. This is the 24G. So the 24 Glam palette. I actually received this as a gift, as a birthday present for one of my good, 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 good friends. Thank you, Sarah. Um, I'm not chucking this palette away. Look at how big these pans are firstly. And again, I honestly think this is a different formulation because the shades in here are so much better than the 35.0 palette. I feel like the shades in here are similar to the Jaclyn Hill palette and the pans are much bigger as well. I really like this one, really, really do. I mean, the shades are beautiful. Again, it's a neutral palette, don't come for me. I like my neutrals. Those are some of the shades there. The mattes are buttery, the shimmers are buttery as well. This palette I really like. I don't know what Morphe do with their palettes when they change the formulations, but the 24G, if you like soft glam looks as well, this is a really good palette to get. Um, and I love soft glam looks. Like if you know me and you follow me on Insta, make sure you follow me on Insta, um, you'll know that I am, I love, 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 love soft glam. So this, I'm keeping this. And it was a present as well. I love people who buy me makeup as a present. If you buy me makeup as a present, that means you really, really, really know me. And that's real rad or die. Okay, so now we're getting into some of the smaller palettes. So uh, next is the Lime Crime Venus palette. Babe looks like this. And inside, 
it looks like this. Again, this is another great palette. Uh, if you like soft glam looks, you're gonna love this palette. My favorite thing out of this palette is the color Shell. Shell is absolutely beautiful as a shade. Let me see if I can switch it for you guys. So that's Shell at the bottom. Shell is a gorgeous lid shade. It's like that iridescent peachy gold shade. Um, but I can't lie, I have not used this in a while. And it's sort of like those palettes you want to hold on to because it's I it's an iconic palette, but it's not a palette that I pick up anymore. One of the ColourPop shades that I have is a dupe of Shell. So I think I'm going to give this one away. I mean, yeah, like I said, if you love Soft Glam, you're going to love this palette. Like you can definitely get some good crease shades out of that and good lid shades, but it's not... Let me not lie, I haven't used this in a while, so this one I'd, I'd probably give away. Next is the Juvia's Place Mini Masquerade Palette, which looks like this. This, again, is a gorgeous, gorgeous eyeshadow palette. I like eyeshadow palettes that sort of take me out of my comfort zone and uh, give me colours to play with. And these have gorgeous blues in them. Um, but I have not used this palette in a long, long, long time. This one I think I'm going to give away because I feel like... Yeah, I don't reach for this enough. I feel like the last time I reached for this was probably like a year ago. So this one probably has to go. It is a beautiful palette though. Look at those blue, like you can see the color story, the blues, the berries, um, and then the, the browns. Oh yeah, no. I mean, there's shades in here I haven't even touched. I don't want to get rid of it, but you need to declutter. You really do need to declutter. So this one is going. Oh, this one's a babe. This is the Colored Rain Vivid Pigments palette, which looks like this. Matte pigments. I have used this a couple of times. I actually did use this as well in my, uh, one of my Valentine's Day videos. I'll leave it in the cards. I love this palette. This shade source, this red here, this red right here, beautiful absolutely beautiful look at it you can't tell me nothing you cannot tell me nothing about source source is saucy yeah no i'm keeping it source has sold it for me only for the sake of source i'm keeping this palette no i love this i haven't even used all the shades but i love this palette if just for source alone like yes vivid pigments palette is staying in my collection uh next is the makeup obsession in the neon jungle eyeshadow palette uh which looks like this this was gifted to me um, and the shades inside look like this. Um, so all of these shades come out, they are magnetic and you can put it in a Z palette if you want to. I'm gonna keep this palette. And the reason why I'm gonna keep this palette is because the shades are crazy in pigmentation. I posted a picture on Instagram some time ago um, where I wore this palette and where I used this palette and I used Gecko in the inner corners of my eye and without any base, that color just popped and I was like sold. No base on my brown skin and it popped like that, are you mad? I mean, some of them are a little chalky, yes. I'm not gonna lie to you, but I ain't mad at it. Gecko is the only shade I did use. You know what, I think what I'll do with this palette is it's a bit of both. I think what I do, what I would do if I have any um, space in my Z palette is to take the shades that I like, like Gecko and Tiger and McCaw, and then the rest of them give them away because I have all these shades, all the brown shades you guys have seen just already that I have all these shades. So I think I'll take out the shades that I like and then the rest of them I'll give them away because like I said, you can take them out like that. So you can take them out. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So this is a bit of a mixed bag, but yeah. It is a good palette though, definitely a good palette. So this one, oh, this is, this one I've had for such a long time now, to the point I cannot remember what it's called. This is the Sugar Pill Eyeshadow Palette with the OG Sugar Pill shades. So you've got Flame Point, Love Plus, Poison Plum, and what's this one called? Butter Cupcake. But that, oh my God, that yellow is chalky, fam. The yellow is super, super chalky. But this is such a gorgeous palette. But I think palettes have, have come a long way since then. Even Sugar Pills stuff has come a long way since then. So, oh, Burning Heart Palette, that's what it's called. <laughs> it says on the side, Burning Heart Palette. 
Um, I, I, okay, this one I'm giving away. I don't use this. It's just for the sake of nostalgia that I've kept it, but I haven't used this in years. Like absolutely, like this palette is old. I'm pretty sure Sugar Pill don't even make this anymore. Um, I should give it away. I'm not gonna use it, but it is a beautiful palette. One of my first palettes as well. So yeah, oh my gosh, nostalgia. So next is a Revolution palette. It's from their, um, they had a collection called Life on the Dance Floor and this one is called Guest List. And this is what the palette looks like. So it's got this gorgeous iridescent cover. Again, another neutrals palette, another neutrals glam palette. I don't need this. I don't even think I've, I think I've used this like once. I just bought it because it was a beautiful neutrals palette. Really good, really inexpensive. I would recommend getting this if you like your neutrals and you don't have neutral palettes, but I got bare neutral palettes. Like I'm looking at all those pans. I need to use those pans. So this one's definitely going. I don't need this one. It is beautiful though. There's nothing wrong with it, but listen, <laughs> I should rename this video to if you want soft glam palettes, watch this. I'm just buying the same palette over and over and over again. So this one's definitely going. I don't need this one. The Urban Decay. Naked heat palette in the house. Listen, just for the money that I paid for this, I'm not gonna give this one away. It's a beautiful palette again. Uh, the shades I really do like, El Fuego, and Fuego, Cayenne, He Devil. It's a gorgeous palette. I don't use it as much as I should use it, but I do really like it. And I don't wanna chuck it away. Um, I don't really have a reason besides the money I paid for it and I like the color scheme, so. <laughs> That's that's all I'm saying about this one. I'm keeping this one because yeah, this was this was not small monies, not small monies at all. And it's an Urban Decay palette. I did actually give away my original Urban Decay palette. My first, the first naked palette that I had, I gave that one away, no question. But this one, no, I like this one, so I'm keeping this one. Oh my gosh, another Z palette. I don't even know which one's in here. What are these ones? So I've just found another Z palette. I thought I was out, but I found another one. Um, this one is a mixture of Coastal Scents and Makeup Geek, but the majority are Coastal Scent shades. It is a bit dusty because they're a bit fly away with the shimmers and stuff. No, what happened was I think another shade broke in here. So I moved it somewhere else. I should have cleaned it out, but I didn't, my bad. But these are all shimmer shades, so all lid shades. I tend to use like loose pigments or highlighters on my lid instead of shimmers and I don't know why with all of my custom palettes I'm keeping them because I paid money for each and every one of those shades in there so I ain't gonna check this away but I definitely don't reach for this at all to be honest with you I don't love it but I will I will keep it you guys won't even believe it and this palette I'm not chucking away I don't even care what no one says but you can't even shame me regarding how old this palette is it's not gonna happen um this is the wet and wild turn me on vanity palette the realest of the OGs know about the vanity palette. This was the first soft glam palette anyone ever got. You got your shimmers on one side and you got your mattes on the other side and you can mix them together or you can use just the shimmers or, no, this one's staying. I still, and this brown, I'm not even finishing my sentences, that's how excited I am. This brown that I've hit pan on, this brown is still life. Still life itself. No, you have to be mad to chuck this palette away. I'm never chucking this palette away. Uh, this is a recent buy actually. This is the Huda Beauty Nude Rich Palette. Looks like this. And inside it looks like this. Now this palette was not cheap. It was not cheap at all, I don't think. I, I don't remember it being cheap. Um, and I bought this because a lot of people were talking about it. I saw the swatches and I was disappointed when I used this. I felt like maybe I got a dud one or something. The colors weren't really up to my standard in terms of color payoff and the creaminess. And you know, I feel like, basically I just feel like I've had better for cheaper. Um, it's a beautiful color palette, but it's not doing much for me. I think I've used it once and then that was it. So this one is definitely going. It was a disappointment to me. This one's still in a box. I don't even think I've ever used this one, but I'm a soft glam girl and this one took me a bit too far out of my comfort zone. So this one, I haven't used it. This is the uh, Lime Crime Venus 3 palette. And it's a shame I haven't used this because purples on brown eyes like really, really pop. It's a beautiful palette, but I'm not gonna lie. I have not used this palette at all. Um, there's a one gorgeous mauve shade in there, but um, I haven't used this palette, so this palette's definitely going. I wish I was more adventurous, but I'm a soft glam neutrals girl, as you guys can see. So yeah, this one's definitely going, but don't sleep on Lime Crime um, eyeshadows either. They do have some really good eyeshadows and some really good unique shades. Okay, next, the Jackie Aina Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. 
I ain't gonna chuck this away. You must be mad. I'm keeping this palette. I love this palette. This palette, of course I'm keeping. Miss Ina's palette with ABH. Of course I'm keeping it. I love everything about this palette. Um, like I said in my last video, it helps you to explore color stories that you wouldn't normally explore because all of the shades work so well together. Next is the Uma Beauty Black Magic palette, um, which looks like this. And this is in the shade Poise which looks like this. So the shimmers in here are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. My issue here is with the mattes. What I found with this palette is the mattes perform like the Anastasia Beverly Hills, was this the Sublime palette? What was the palette called, the green one? You know where the mattes weren't blending properly? When you blend them out, they were turning muddy. This is what I find with this palette. The mattes turn muddy when you blend them together or when you blend them out. You can't really build up the color that well. Um, and that's what I didn't like. I felt like that was something that was quite frustrating. I didn't get that Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, so I'd never really experienced that before. But with this palette, that was the first time I'd experienced it and it was quite annoying. But there is no doubt the shades are absolutely beautiful. What I would say is though, this is quite expensive. Um, but what I did realize um, on Instagram and on my Instagram stories one time, that in the Patricia Bright palette, there are dupes of all these shades. If I hold these two up together, you can kind of see where there can be dupes. So if you did find the Umi Beauty uh, palette too expensive, but you did like the colorway, definitely check out the Patricia Bright Rich in Life palette and you will definitely get some dupes of there. Maybe not the exact same, but you will get some dupes. Because of the money I spent on this, I'm keeping it. Cause I spent good money on this, but it's not my favorite palette because of the mattes, which is a shame because the mattes, the mattes are gorgeous. Anastasia Modern Renaissance palettes. Why they they did a felt cover for this I will never know but I think they've learned their lesson since then oh my god look at this palette I will always 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 be in love with this palette I love this palette I still love it and Anastasia Beverly Hills palette I don't even need a reason I just love it so the Modern Racers palette is not going anywhere I can tell you that for sure keeping on the theme of Anastasia Beverly Hills and I actually forgot about this palette because it wasn't with my other eyeshadow palettes this is the Anastasia self-made palette I think this was the first Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palette I ever got the reason why I will not chuck this palette away is for the shade pink champagne that's this shade here I mean I don't even use this palette anymore but for pink champagne I will keep this palette for sure this one again I know I'm going to keep because it's a good palette and again supporting a black owned business this is the makeup addiction flaming love palette this palette oh my god i think these shades are paired so well so i haven't used it in a while but definitely it's still a favorite of mine this is a beautiful palette absolutely beautiful palette the color payoff of the mattes and the shimmers and that blue listen that palette is here to stay for sure this is another custom palette i made from inglot which looks like this these are more like shimmer shades I had some matte ones, but I think I gave them away. I think I'm gonna keep one shade and then get rid of the rest of them. The shade I am going to keep is this orangey shade here. This is a dupe for um, Melon by MAC. Remember uh, MAC had that pigment called Melon? That was a dupe for it and that's why I picked it up. But the rest of the shades I don't use. The rest of them I'll get rid of. And then last but not least is this e.l.f. Sculpt in Silk eyeshadow palette and this is in the shade Rosé all day. It's just a really small traveling palette and it has like a dusty rose shade and then a brown shade. It's actually a really beautiful palette. I'm gonna keep this palette because I actually do like using the brown in here. I used to go through a phase of where I used to do like a matte an all matte eye where I'd have like a pale color on the lid and then a brown in the crease. Um, and I think this is a good palette to use if you want to do that as well. So I'll be keeping that. And that's it. <laughs> I thought I'd chuck away more palettes, but I didn't. I didn't chuck away more palettes. I don't know why. I'm very much um, emotionally invested in some of the palettes. But again, I have my pans. So I did chuck away some, maybe not as much as I should have, but you know, there's always time to chuck it away. And I'm sure eventually most of these will go, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys at least discovered some new palettes. If there are some new palettes you want to check out, um, especially if you love soft glam, if you like red browns, um, there's definitely some a lot of palettes that you can choose from in this video. But uh, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you liked it. I hope this went well. <laughs> I don't know. I've never done an uh, eyeshadow decluttering video before, but if you did like it and if you like videos like this, please do give me a thumbs up. I love you guys long time. Hopefully I'll be back with another video very, very soon. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Thank you.